I was lucky enough to work on the most successful set of TV series for children, and they're still watching now. 50 years on, they're still good, entertaining. Yeah, it was fun. I still am so proud of being part of Thunderbirds. I am extremely flattered that I am, in a small way, associated with someone who I think was a, a, a creative genius. At the time, we didn't realise we were going to be such an important part of the <laughs> film history. Um, and it's really surprising that we are. It was the best time of my life in the film business, really. The very best. It was just pure joy to be with so many really great people, just who had a zest for life. They were real pioneering days and uh, they were a lot of fun in fact. It was tough. I needed a nervous breakdown in the middle of it. But, you know, I'd do it all again, for sure. Would I do it all again? <laughs> I should have to think very seriously about that one. Well, I Don't think up here, yes. Down here, no. <laughs> well, it'd be the opposite way around. <laughs> and I was suddenly introduced to this mad lot of people who let me have a wonderful time playing with puppets. And at the end of the week, they pay you money as well. I personally, like you, I owe him huge amounts. Yeah, we do. We huge do. Huge amounts. We, we do. We really well, do. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Could I say something to you, Parker? In your lago, I'm very grateful to you for all the inspiration you've given me and all the success I've been able to have in the voice field. It's all down to you, cock. Goodbye. Well, it seems all good things must come to an end. Oh, Belady? Home, Parker.